Okay, welcome back. Today we're looking at the sine rule again, but this time we're looking to apply it to a problem that has two solutions. And I'm going to explain this using an example. So let's just look at this triangle. We're given that two of its sides are four centimeters and three centimeters. And one of the angles, the one opposite the side of length three centimeters, is equal to 44 degrees. And now the problem is to find the angle x. The thing about this triangle is there's two ways to draw it. So I could draw it like this, where x is acute, so less than 90 degrees, but we could also draw it just like this, where this side is four centimeters again, uh, but now this length of three centimeters, instead of drawing it uh, like this, we draw it to the left of the vertical. So now this is three centimeters, and this line is like this. So this angle is still 44 degrees, and everything in this problem has been preserved, except now the missing angle, this one, let's call it y, this is an obtuse angle, so it's bigger than 90 degrees. So we could use the sine rule just to solve this problem, as usual, to find x, this will give the, the acute angle, but to find the angle y, we need to use a relationship between x and y. And I actually claim that x in degrees plus y measured in degrees, the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. Now one way to see this is if we draw a circle like this, and this is the origin. Let's say this circle has radius three centimeters. So if I draw the radius here, this is three centimeters. And now let's imagine uh, intersecting the circle with a horizontal line. So this line represents the baseline of this triangle. And now imagine drawing these lines that intersect the circle and line up to the radius. So I'm gonna draw a line like this, and also one like this. So there's two ways to draw these lines such that they both have three centimeters because that's the radius of the circle. And they both intersect the line and the circle. So here and here. So now thinking about this problem, the angle X here corresponds to this acute angle in here. And the angle Y corresponds to this obtuse angle right here. And now how to see that X plus Y equals 180 degrees, we just have to notice that this angle in here this is exactly the same as this one because both of these lengths are the same. So this is x degrees. And now we have the x and y, they make up 180 degrees. So they make up one side of the line. So that's how we see that x plus y equals 180 degrees. And so now we can solve this problem to get two different solutions. To find x, we just use the normal sine rule. And then to find y, we just need to use this relationship. So now remember to use the sine rule, we need to associate the lengths and the opposite angles. So if we uh, associate A to be uh, three centimeters, so this side is A, then the angle capital A is the one opposite to this length. So we need to think about this line here, so this angle is A, and then we need B, so let's say this length is B, and then the angle is the one opposite this length, so I'll let this be capital B. And then we can just use this formula, so we have A divided by sine A, which is three divided by sine 44 degrees, then by the sine rule, this equals B, which is four centimeters, divided by sine of B. And here B is just X, so I'll just write X degrees. And we can solve this by rearranging, so we have sine of X. This equals four divided by three times sine of 44 degrees. And so to find X, we need to invert sine. And if we put X equals sine to the power of minus one, four over three times sine of 44 degrees, we can put this into a calculator and the calculator will give us the acute angle X. So this, uh, this comes out roughly as 67.9 degrees, which is good because it's less than 90 degrees. So it agrees with our diagram up here that it's acute. And then as we were saying, to find the second solution, to find the angle Y, we just need to use this relationship. So Y equals 180 minus this, which is 67.9 approximately. And so Y is roughly 112.1 degrees. And these are our two solutions. And you can just double check that if you add these two up together, you're gonna to get 180 degrees. So that's something just to be aware of when you're using the sine rule that you can get uh, an acute angle solution and an obtuse angle solution. In an exam, they'd usually specify which one of these two they're after. But just remember to get from one to the other, you just need to use this relationship that the sum of these two angles equals 180 degrees. 